This is an answer for the guy who asked, what are the cramming rituals for the free zone? Well, the cramming rituals for the free zone would be the same cramming rituals that the uh, regular churches would do. And uh, these are the red volumes and uh, volume two. Back here at the bottom, at the end, is one, two, three, and four, regular Arabic numerals. And they are the, uh, like, collections of these earlier writings from the earlier tech volumes, these ones from Roman numeral one through Roman numeral 13, they're all in date sequence. And then <clears throat> various of these writings have been selected and then put in various series. So these are the, these final four volumes are probably the, the core volumes, like if you were to run off to a desert island and want to do Scientology, you take these last two for sure. These ones have all the auditing rundowns, the thousands of commands that the uh, crank pseudotherapist Scientology minister uh, asks of the patient parishioner and uh, answers the questions, and there's just thousands of commands. That's the whole lower part of the bridge, and these are the grade processes and the prepared lists of uh, various um, questions that have to be asked in certain circumstances. Anyways, that's all you need to get up to clear. These two volumes right there if you go to a desert island. Supposed clear. Anyways, okay, so we're, these technical series have um, like the various uh, technical positions inside of a Scientology church. One of them is the cramming officer, and we're going to look at the scriptures, quote-unquote, for the cramming guy. So, there's about 35 pages of writings by Hubbard. The Cramming Series. And it goes Cramming Series. It's kind of well organized. Cramming Series 1, General Principles, Tech Quality. The Case Supervisor and Cramming Officer. Yeah, the Case Supervisor is the one who oversees the sessions, the actual pseudotherapy sessions. They review the worksheets which are kept by the Scientology minister every session, and if there's any mistakes which the CS, Case Supervisor, notices, he writes up a, a little instruction for the minister to be corrected before the minister is allowed to take that patient pre-clear in for another session and the uh, minister has to go to the cramming officer and he receives um, uh, the written instructions from the case supervisor and the cramming officer goes over those um, observations with the uh, uh, student minister and uh, corrects the uh, student minister on any mistakes. So this is all the uh, administrative behind the scenes writings for the cramming officer, what he's supposed to do. And it's just a lot of one and two pages and sometimes three and four pages. Um, writings by Hubbard for the cramming officer. He's the correction. He's the correction officer. He mainly corrects the ministers, but he also corrects everyone else. Uh, he would correct Scientologists who um, Missed questions on the examinations that they have to take after they complete a course. Oh, look, they even have auditor coordination drills. Auditor being the pseudotherapist, Scientology minister. This is an interesting one. The tools of a cramming officer, cramming series 22. Anyway, so that includes all the various sub-subject Hubbard writings on correcting um, either the ministers, cor correcting any of the other um, staff in a church, or even correcting the parishioners when they make mistakes on their uh, examinations, which they take at the end of each one of their courses. The cramming officer is the person that they the erring staff member, erring minister, erring care, case supervisor has to go see to correct their tech. And one of the tools is an interesting one. The tools of a cramming officer is the um, how to defeat verbal tech checklist. That's a little checklist that 
any Scientologist or a cramming officer can use to detect verbal tech. The, uh, the point that's similar to Mary Baker Eddy's Christian Science rule system, which pretty much prevents anyone from uh, st straying off of Mary Baker Eddy's rules for Christian Science. Well, similarly in Scientology, Hubbard devised uh, a number of um, parts of the church with uh, staff positions to keep everybody on the straight and narrow. And it goes up the echelons, like from the normal regular city, Scientology church is called a class five org, on up to the continental orgs, which correct any of the executives in any of the local churches. They're sent off to the continental regions for correction, and they would then see the cramming officer there and, and uh, go over a cramming program to correct all their administrative failures and on up the ladder there's cramming officers all the way up in each different echelon to correct the people in the lower echelons. Anyways, the um, verbal tech checklist for Scientology would prevent uh, it's actually a, it's a very serious uh, high crime if you uh, give verbal interpretations of what Hubbard said uh, in a training like atmosphere. Anyway, so the cramming officer uh, uses this checklist sometimes to uh, do uh, sorting out with the uh, the erring staff member or erring minister to locate where they got the crazy idea in their head which is driving them to do something wrong. Alright, anyways, that's the Gramming series, 35 pages by Hubbard. And the, in the free zone they would do the same thing but there'd be less of it because none of the free zone um, setups with a few exceptions, are big enough to have a cramming officer. But a cramming officer is a very uh, needed position in the Scientology lineup. And as you can see, Hubbard, in this volume, um, has a whole bunch of uh, writings. And these are all compartmented and selected from these earlier ones. And uh, definitely a lot of stuff there, a lot of details, a lot of stuff for the rabbit hole.